Hi there, Kevin Clerks here for Let Icarus Media Paranormal. I'm here at a Roman Catholic cemetery in Formosa, Ontario, and I thought I would just share this very unique find. Now, I did find two of the the wood wood carver or wood mason wood <laughs> wood cutter uh, stones, but this is what I want to show you: is the number of iron crosses marking places where people are buried. I have never seen this many in an Ontario cemetery so far. Now obviously I haven't been to the cemeteries in the city but for a small town there's even in the children's section over there there are these very distinctive and each one is a little bit different whether it's size you see that those two here look almost the same, but the size is different. And there's one here, one here. Like I said, there's four over in the children's section. There's one up here. There's, goodness, there's probably about 20 over that way. one right here and I noticed this because I was looking at the one behind it here the stone with this carving on it okay that stone is red well, this is interesting there's a couple I have not seen this before somebody might have colored them but they've actually been painted. I didn't see this when I walked past the first time. There's another one. I gotta watch that the trees don't drip down on my camera equipment here. Anyway, uh, so there's even more up here. There's probably about, I would say, probably close to 40, 30 or 40, steel crosses. That's a interesting looking stone there. But yeah, here's another one. Again, slightly unique. It doesn't have the little down pieces now, whether they broke off or something. Let's see, this one over here is unique again. See, it's got a little looks like a little hammer there. There is a piece that may have broken off. And then there's this very large one here. And you can see the cemetery goes all the way up there and all the way down around here and then the children's section is way in the distance there. And this appears to be the oldest section, obviously, right behind the very tall, blinded by the sun church there. Um, I did get some great pictures of the church, though, so they'll be on my Flickr site when I'm done. Hello there. I see you waving. I don't want to. I don't want to touch anything and break the stream. Um, but I will show you the cemetery. Um, a lot of them. Like these are fairly newer. These are in the 50s, 60s. So it's like a lot of 80 stones here. And some stones that have been replaced. Obviously that stone is not from 1925. Um, oh, there's... You'll find this in the, in the Catholic cemeteries. Um... I don't know if I want to walk all the way over there. It's kind of exposed, but there's a there is a place for the uh, internment of ashes. But see that that statue out there, the cross with with Jesus on it. Um, that I've seen that, and I've seen uh, is it Mary? Um, also in a little setup like that with 
with stones and a seating area and that. And I want to go over there because it's it's interesting, but the uniqueness lies on this side of the cemetery. Um, see, there's a lot of newer stones over here. I'm going to go over to here. This isn't a paranormal investigation. I don't do that typically in cemeteries. Um, there are a couple I've done it in, but usually out of respect, I am working on my other project, which is my photo project of cemeteries. Here we are. So you, you can tell it's a Catholic cemetery. Um, let's see. I'll take a walk down the road here, the lane, and goodness, those are big leaves. Uh, we'll show you this section over here. Hopefully this is a little bit steadier this time. I'm using the the handheld. My camera is usually pretty good at steadying the picture, but the ground is still somewhat frozen, so there's a lot of places to trip up here. All right. So as you can see, there are a lot of stones here. Now, Formosa is a very old community. I don't have the exact dates, but it was one of the first communities before they, the uh, pioneers branched north towards um, Durham and Hanover and Chesley and Walkerton and so forth. So it has a lot of the early settlers to southwestern Ontario are buried in this this cemetery and others obviously but here in Formosa this tree really just kind of grew up around and then to the stones here so here's the children's cemetery portion um, I don't want to get too focused on the names but like I said I found one that was one day um, so I'll just kind of pass by so you can see that they are, are small stones. They're actually uniquely small compared to the rest of the stones. Now, that could be a matter of money that you have to bury a child. Or it could be just that they're smaller stones, symbolic of young children. There's one with a lamb on it. That is probably the the most common surefire uh, identification of a child's grave is a lamb. There's one over here, which I'll show you as well. Sorry, it's, I'm sniffling. So I'm not going to show the name, but it is one right below me here is one day old January 30th to February 1st 1948 all right this will be the last one and then I've got to go I don't want to spend a lot of time streaming in here just in case somebody comes along anyways I thought you would like a little view of the cemetery that I'm in right now taking pictures standing between the stones and uh, I look forward to your comments talk to you again soon this is Kevin Clerks for Ledicarist Media Paranormal